Hey guys, in this Spark AR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can reduce the frame rate in your Instagram filters. And yeah, I have created a patch asset for you, which makes it very simple to create an effect like this. And of course, you can download this patch asset for free. I think this effect works perfect to achieve an old camera look. So we will also apply a black and white LUT and a crane. To this effect so yeah we have some kind of an old camera effect here so yeah if you are ready we can start with creating this filter let's go hey again so let's create this reduced frame rate effect here in the spark ar studio i have created a patch asset for you which makes it very simple to create a filter like this so before we start creating this filter, please make sure you have downloaded all the assets. You can find a download link in the description. Just click on it and then you will end up here on this Dropbox site. Here just click on download. In this download folder you will find the black and white PNG for the LUT. We will apply later the grain animation sequence and of course the patch asset we will need to create this filter. After you have downloaded all the assets, we can start creating the filter in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we will do here is to import all the assets we have just downloaded. So let's do this. For this we go to our assets panel, click on the little plus and then we go to import. The first thing we will import is our patch asset. So for this we just click on from computer and then we select our reduced frame rate.arp file. Of course, you can also do this by drag and drop it into your assets panel. So the next thing we have to import is our LUT. For this, we have to do this with the plus here in the assets panel. Then go to import and then click here on color LUT. Please don't drag and drop the color LUT into your assets panel. You have to do it like this because otherwise it will not work. So just click on color LUT and then here just import the black and white dot png. So after we have done this, we can also import our grain. For this we again go to our assets panel, click on the little plus and then we um, create a new animation sequence. I will call this animation sequence grain. Then select the animation sequence, go to the right hand side and here click on choose file. Then go to your grain folder you have downloaded and select all three of the grain textures and then click on open. After you have imported the grain textures, make sure you set the compression to none. For this, select the grain texture, go to the right hand side and set the compression to none for all three device types. So after we have imported all our assets we need to create this filter, we can start programming the filter. The first step I will do is to extract the camera texture from our camera object. For this we go to our scene, click on the camera, go to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to texture extraction. After we have done this we can find our camera texture in our assets panel. Then we just select the camera texture and drag and drop it into our patch editor. Now we can find an orange camera texture zero patch in our patch editor. So the next thing is to create a rectangle in our scene. For this we go to our scene, click on the plus and here we search for rectangle. After we have created the rectangle we can see it in the left upper corner of our preview window. But we wanted to enlarge it all over the screen. To do this we go to the left hand side, click on the rectangle then we go to the right hand side and here at width and height we set the width and height to fill width and to fill height. For this just click in the field and select fill width and fill height. So the next step is that we drag and drop our patch we have imported into our patch editor. So now we need also a material for our rectangle so we have created to so we have to create this, so go to your assets panel, click on the plus and select material. So I will yeah, rename this material to camera. Then I will go to the right hand side and set the shader type of the camera material to flat. Now I go down to my shader properties to texture and here 
next to texture, we can find a little arrow. Just click on it. After you clicked on it, you will find a yellow patch in your patch editor. So now we can just connect our patches. So the camera texture, the RGBA output goes into the camera texture input of the reduce frame rate patch. And the output of the reduce frame rate patch goes into the diffuse texture input of our camera patch. So after we have done this, we just have to set the material to our rectangle. So go to your scene, select the rectangle, go to the right hand side and set as material the camera material. And now we can already see that we have reduced our frame rate to 1 FPS as you can see here at the reduced frame rate patch. But I will set the frame rate, let's say, to 7 FPS, so it's, it is not that slow. So as you can see here, the reduced frame rate patch also has this on and off button. So when you set it to off, there is no reducing of the frames. And when you set it to on, it will reduce the frame rate. Here it's 7 FPS, but of course you can set it also to 10. Um, the highest frame rate here is 50 15 frames per second. But yeah, I will set it down to 7 because I think that looks nice. So before we move on with the LUT and also with the grain overlay, I want to show you something because most of the time when you save your project now, save, you will have this issue that your screen will turn white. When this is happening, not only when you save the project, Maybe you also do something here at the patch editor and also your camera um, turns white. Then just delete the reduce frame rate patch from the patch editor and import it again. And then also, yeah, connect it again in the right way and set it to your preferred frame rate. It will work again. So yeah, just if you run into this issue, you know how to fix it. So now we can add um, yeah, a LUT to this filter and also we can add a grain overlay so to give it more um, kind of a look of an old film camera. So let's start with the LUT. For this we go to our assets panel and drag and drop the black and white LUT we have imported to our patch editor. Um, yeah, when you have imported it the right way, Spark AR should automatically create this color LUT shader. So now we will select the texture output of the reduce frame rate patch to the texture input of the color LUT shader and the output of the color LUT shader goes into the diffuse texture input. So now we have a black and white image. So the last step is that we add a grain overlay. For this I will create a new material. I will call it of course grain. Then I select the material, go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat and here for the texture I will select the um, grain texture. So now we of course need another rectangle for our grain. So we go to our scene, click on the plus and create a new rectangle. So rectangle new is the grain rectangle so I will rename it to grain and rectangle zero is the camera rectangle, so I don't get confused. So now for the grain rectangle, select it, go to the right hand side and set the width again to fill width and also the height to fill height. So now go down to materials and set the grain material. So at the moment there is a solid grain overlay, so let's change this. To change this, we go to our materials, to our grain material, and we will change the blend mode of our material. So you can set the blend mode to add, then it is a more brighter overlay, and when you set it to multiply, it is a more darker overlay. But for this, I will set it to add. You can also set it to screen, it's almost the same, but I will, I will set it to add. So now I will also lower the opacity of this grain overlay so it isn't that grainy. And 
if you have recognized it is also really really fast at the moment we will change this also so i will set the opacity to 30. now reduce the frame rate of our crane for this we go to our crane animation sequence click on it then go to the right hand side and here we can set the fps of our yeah, animation sequence and I will set it to 7 FPS so it has the same re frame rate as my yeah, video. So yeah, just make sure the frame rate of the grain matches the frame rate of the reduced frame rate patch. So when you set it to 5, also set the grain frame rate to 5. So that was all about the reduce frame rate effect here in this buggy R studio. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.